KCLR. Now I'm joined by Tom Mullins from the Kilkenny and District League. Uh, Tom, KCLR McCormick Cup final coming up next uh, Saturday. What have you made of the tournament this year so far? That's right. It's been a very good tournament this year. Um, probably the two best teams in the league are meeting each other in the final. Uh, we're really looking forward to a great game. Uh, 36 teams started off and uh, it has been a very, very competitive uh, tournament this year. Uh, more so than any other year. Anyone could have won it, but quality probably came out in the end and uh, it's great to see the two best teams in the league in the final should make a great a great occasion and just before we go into that i suppose how is this year's tournament compared to other years in terms of i suppose quality and, and stuff like that absolutely the quality is getting better every year you could see the work that's been carried out at school by level and the coaching now is really coming through at junior level at the moment and you could see for yourself now that we had two teams this year in the semi-final of the leinster junior cup the same two teams that are meeting again next Saturday Thomas Town Evergreen and like to be in the last four in the Leinster where you have maybe 2,000 junior clubs it's a fair old achievement for them yeah, and it has a lot for the Kilkenny League as well and the standard of it. Absolutely, and uh, you could see it's school by level that's coming through. We're in the under-16 All-Ireland next, Saturday, next Sunday below against Waterford down in Care, And uh, like you could see, like the, what we bet Dublin, the biggest school by league in Europe, in the semi-final and betting 4-1. So it's really proven that the coaching and the work being done with the clubs is really coming to fruition now at the moment. And just ahead of the game then on Sunday, as you mentioned, or on Saturday rather, it's a rerun of, uh, of, of yesterday's game in the Leinster Junior Cup. Um, Thomas Town is out for revenge after yesterday. That's right, and uh, I'd say it's on a neutral venue this time, so Thomas Town will be more at home on grass where yesterday it was played in Evergreen's all-weather pitch. Uh, they'll be more used to it than Thomas Town, so the Thomas Town will really look forward to it, say, getting a bit of revenge next Saturday night on the grass. What do you think it'll come down to on the day, Tom? I think it'll come down to penalties, to be quite honest with you, because there's not a lot between them. And uh, Thomastown on their day are as good as what's in the country. They won the Premier Division last year, and they're not far away from it at all this year. So I'd say it could go to extra time and penalties. It could go all the way. And finally, I suppose, you know, Evergreen were probably a little bit more comfortable. Evergreen A in the semi-final, getting through against three booters. But Thomastown were pushed all the way to extra time. Do you think that will stand to Thomastown maybe having gone a bit further and, and having a, a tough game under the belt as well? Oh, absolutely. A hard game never done anyone any harm. And uh, they, they'll know the, what they have to do next 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 uh, Saturday night because they played Evergreen B in the final. Evergreen B are very strong as well. They've done well in the Premier Division. So Thomastown will know what they're up against. And I say they'll be up for big time next Saturday. KCLR.